Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to install or fix StreamFX so it works with OBS 28. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First of all, if you've had StreamFX installed and now it does not work with OBS 28 and you did the update, you're going to need to make sure that you do the uninstall before you go any further or it will cause issues fixing it. There is an uninstall guide on the GitHub page. We will just go through over here to the settings, go to apps, go to installed apps and make sure OBS is closed for this here and just scroll down until you find StreamFX. There it is. Just give it an uninstall just like you would uninstall any other application. Once it's removed, just close that. But once you have that done, now we can get in started on installing it. So what we're going to do is jump over to the website. You can get there more than one way. What we're going to do is just type in StreamFX in Google and go to the obsprojects.com website. And I'll make sure to leave links to everything in the description below, including the uninstall guide and all the links to everything that you will need. Once we load up to the main page, uh, just from the OBS projects page, if you've been here before, most times what you would do is come in here and you'd click this here link, go to their GitHub page, you'd go in here to the GitHub and you'd scroll down and you would download the releases and the latest release would be 0.11.0, but that's not the right one. So if you've installed this before and you've gone through this here process, it's not this here way. You do not want to go through here and find it. We are on 0.12.0 beta so what we're going to do is on the top right of this here page so in the obs projects page when you first find it in google make sure you click the go to download to get to the correct download to get the most updated one once we're in here it is going to have some cautionary symbols and for good reason the small disclaimer here is this is in beta still in testing you can use it and people can use it but it is still in testing and it's a use at your own risk that being said if you're not willing to take that risk you can try using an older version of obs so if you're here and this kind of makes you nervous you can use an older version of obs with stream effects and it'll work just fine so definitely keep that in mind there is other options if the risk is something you don't want to take but i think it's pretty small the stream effects team is pretty good and they've done a great job of keeping this here up to date so if you find the version here and it works fine for you, it should be okay to use it. All we're going to do on, when we're on this here page though is to scroll all the way down here, find the downloads. We're just going to click on the one that is best suited for us. So we're on Windows 10, so we're going to download the one for Windows. But if you're on Linux or Ubuntu or Mac or whatever, make sure you download the correct one for you. We're just going to click on the Windows one. It's only going to take a quick second to download. Once it's downloaded, just go to your download folders and you can double click to install it. Now this is going to say Windows protect your PC and it's going to say Windows uh, doesn't recognize this here application. We have to click more information to click run anyways. All right. Actually, back on the website, I had an issue loading up the newest uh, 0.12 point B. So what I did from the very top was I just scrolled down on this here release page uh, where, I, where I downloaded it at the very bottom. We're going to click on releases and we're going to find the alpha. This is a little annoying to get to it this here way and we had to go through a little bit longer of a process, but I'm pretty sure we'll have better luck with this one here. So make sure that you uninstall the old one first. We're going to close down OBS, go into apps, go into installed, and this is another way to test it. Sometimes you may have to install more than one, but make sure not to install too many. This is one that I'm okay with is uh, 151. There may be some issues with it, but I've, I haven't found it hurt my computer, and, and that's the only one I can speak for. The newer one might not work unless you're on the beta, on the beta version of OBS. We'll just give this an uninstall here, remove it, click OK, give this a close again, and now we're going to click this one here. Install for all users, click yes, next, accept, same as the first step before. Anyway, we'll work fine. Okay, we'll click finish. We're only going to minimize that this time. We're not going to close it because it didn't work. I'm leaving all this here in the video so that you guys know the process I went through to get this here fixed up. So it says StreamFX requires your permission to connect to the GitHub. We're going to definitely click OK. And there we go. Our stream effects is working it shows up here it'll give you the check for updates automatic stuff 
in your filters and settings, all the things should be working. You do have to make sure that you still download the RTX voice and the RTX things. The, there's files separate for that if you want all of stream effects working. I do have a video that covers that as well. I'll leave it in the description below for how to set it up and the two other downloads you need to make sure that everything else is working with it. But that's it. That'll just get you back up and running if you've been down for a little bit. It's been quite a while since stream effects has launched one that actually worked with OBS. That's pretty much it for this one here. You can go to their website, you can check out their download. I suggest using the 0.12.0A151. I'll leave a link down in the description to this one here below so that you'll be able to find it easier. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.